be or not to be? That is the question. Whether this nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of a traitor's fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep. No. And by sleep to say, where well, am the heartache, and a thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, tis a consummation devoutly to be worst, to die. To sleep. With tongues to dream, hey, there's the rob. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The precious soul. The proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the world he takes when he himself might destroy to make. With a bare but who would follow spare to grunt and sweat under a worry life but that a dread of something after that than discovered country that was born no trouble and returns possible to the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly the others that we know not of this conscience does make Cowards of us all, and as the native view of resolution is sickled o'er with a pale cast of thought, and into crisis of great pith and moment, with this regard, the current stern ore, and lose the name of action. 